My daughter was diagnosed with cancer when she was 29 years old and when things weren't looking so good it was suggested that she come here. But the first thing is the fear. You had to combat that and as soon as we walked in the place that straight away went away because it didn't feel like a hospital, it didn't feel like there was doctors and nurses about, it felt comfortable, relaxed. You just have to sort of look round the place and realise how important the people are and how they care about you. And you can't beat this place, it's absolutely fantastic. Every year, St Elizabeth Hospice improves the lives of hundreds of people who have a progressive illness, such as cancer, heart disease or kidney or respiratory failure. Care is centred around each individual's needs, with specialist support provided at home, in the community, or at the hospice. Through our day services, outpatients, clinics and community services, we help people deal with a variety of problems, such as pain and anxiety. I don't think people do know what a hospice is. I think that the majority of people just think that it's somewhere that people who are really, really ill go to pass away. And um, it's just so much more than that. Patients can take part in activity groups, experience complementary therapies, music or art therapy. And we offer practical advice and family support. We also have 21 inpatient beds in Suffolk and Norfolk. But in order to provide our services for free now and in the future, we rely on a large number of fundraising supporters and volunteers. Many local companies support the hospice, making us their charity of the year or joining our business network. A team of 20 of us have come along to help the hospice to transform this area which is behind the extension that was built recently um, to grass it and to um, create four flower beds. So it gives us an opportunity to come out of the office, work as a team and at the same time help a very deserving cause. Fundraising supporters can participate in hospice events, such as the Midnight Walk, take a dip on Christmas Day, or even dress up for the Great Escape. Local individuals, community groups and schools can also play their part. Many people volunteer their time, either to help with activities at the hospice, as receptionists, or drivers, or in our shops. Our volunteers save the hospice more than a million pounds each year. Volunteers are absolutely vital to the services that we provide. They work across all aspects of the organisation, whether it be a ward hostess, whether it be somebody in our maintenance team, counting money for us in finance, or maybe going out and helping with a fundraising event. They really are the lifeblood of the organisation. Without our supporters and volunteers, the hospice would simply not exist as it does today. As an independent charity, it costs us millions of pounds each year to provide our services free of charge. NHS funding covers around a quarter of these costs, but we rely on your contributions to make up the rest. You can give items to or buy from our shops, leave a gift in your will, donate in someone's memory, fundraise by holding events and challenges, or join our £1 a week lottery. And if you have time to spare, you can become a volunteer, like Jordan, who wanted to give something back to the hospice after his sister Danielle died. Danielle was just 34 when she lost her five-year battle against bone cancer. The hospice supported her family throughout. We didn't leave her here at any time on her own. She was never left alone. So um, when she passed, we not only were able to do her care and stay with her the whole time, um, we were able to sleep with her that night. And then when they came and took her, we left after that. So, you know, for them to do that, it's, it's just an amazing thing. And that made it so much more worthwhile. 
being able to do those things for her right at the end. Amazing. If you would like to help grow St Elizabeth Hospice services for local people, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.